This popular sword dance for six dancers is known for being performed at the end of the Manx Christmas time play, The White Boys. The dance is often performed in the costumes of this traditional mumming play and it finishes with the iconic interlocking of the dancers' swords. Similar dances to this are known across the British Isles, but this distinctive Manx version was collected by Mona Douglas and Leighton Stoll in the 1930s. Right, we're going to go for White Boys, which is a team dance for six, and we start in a line, preferably off stage, um, and we have a sword in our right hand, and if you could show us, we're going to put it up on our right shoulder, kind of holding it um, halfway between your shoulder and your waist, quite comfortably, and we're going to do the lead on. There's a step that we use to do the lead on, and it's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So should we all do that together? Very important as well, everybody starts on their right foot. Okay, so this is the lead on. Ready? Two, three, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going round. And then the front two come round. They're gonna go up the middle. On the spots. And we finish with a stamp, stamp. The music will tell us to do this so we know when it is. When we get into our places with two lines of three, we finish the movement with a stamp, stamp. The next move, we have our front two couples and they're gonna face each other slightly and they're gonna clash their swords and then they're gonna move backwards. Now, when you clash, if you try and make your arch a good height so the other ones can come under. And it's again, it's a one, two, three, one, two, three step. We always keep moving our feet. Top couple, you're gonna go backwards and the second one to come through, go one, two, three, one, two, three. We're then ready for the second couple to do it. They go a clash with their swords. Good, and we go back. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And finally, the front couple, the third couple, clash. Go under, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And again, we finish with a stamp, stamp. We repeat the whole thing again then with the first couple, ready? Two, three, go. Clash two, three, clash two, three. Clash two, three, clash two, three. Clash two, three, clash you place. And it's stamp, stamp. So that's the first movement. The next movement, we're gonna start leading our set round into a circle. And it's very simple to do this. Everybody just turns to their right if they're not already faced that way. So we're facing round and we're gonna start moving our feet around to make a circle. So can you just show me that going round, ready, go. Round two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. Stop there. Now, once we've done this, we're going to do a grab so that we're gonna join all the dancers together. And we start with the first person, the person who led on at the beginning. And so if we don't move, we're just gonna show it like this. Archie, you go, grab, and then grab, and grab, and grab, grab, and grab. Very good. So we're all joined around in a circle. We're gonna move on to the next movement, which is archers. And we start with our first person. That's the person that led on. Okay, we start with Archie. He's gonna come under the arch made between person number five and six in the circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So five and six make an arch. You let go and you come under. The whole step is done with a one, two, three, one, two, three, and he comes back around. He's then gonna go under this arch, which is between number four and five, and he goes around exactly the same way. That's it, everybody moves around as they go. Okay, then we're gonna go under the next arch, which is between number three and four. Keep your feet moving, that's it, well done. And then the next arch again, between two and three, and finally he's gonna go under his own arch as well. That's it, and we join the circle back up, ready for the next movement. 
The next movement is when we bring the swords up onto our shoulders and we're going to do point to hilt. Can you show me that? So point to hilt, so you're, that's it, just onto your shoulder. The whole time we're doing this, we're going round in a circle, but we're just going to show you whilst we're not dancing it because it's easier to see. So we've got point to hilt and we go round with that. And then the next movement, we're going to lift it up. So we're all at the same height. Now, if you have dancers of different heights, some will have to go down a bit and some will have to come up so that they're all level and it's point to hilt, nice and high. And again, we go round in the circle with this position. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. The next movement, we go over our heads, our arms are crossed, and we're holding right hand on our handle and our left hand on the other person's sword. And we carry on going around the circle, all holding onto the edge of our swords. When the music tells us to, we let go of the person's blade, just holding onto our sword, we bring it over into the middle with a clash, clash. Now, once we've done the clash, clash, we bring the sword over the top and the other person is going to grab, very importantly, underneath the person to their left's arm. So we've got the right hand over the top and the left hand underneath. We're going to bring them over the top and we're going to put right handle over the top, left one underneath. So that's right handle over the top, left hand underneath. Now, person number one is going to lift the star. You show us that. Brilliant. And we're all going to follow around, showing off our star as we go. And you can snake around if you like, however you want to go off and then Number one will lead off once he's shown off his star with rapturous applause from everybody else. And off we go. And the whole time that we're doing the dance, it's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs>